The goal of this video is to teach you how to utilize the tools of Vector Ink so you can start creating your own vector art effortlessly. If you haven't already, head over to www.vectorink.io so you can follow along with this video. This is going to be another how to draw in Vector Ink tutorial. And in this video, we're going to draw a simple ladybug. So to begin, let's double tap on the rectangle tool and select the circle tool. Click on constrain and lay down a perfect circle. We're going to center it onto the canvas. Once you have a perfectly centered circle, we're going to double tap on the circle tool and select the line tool. We're going to draw a vertical line and make sure it is centered on the circle. From there, double tap on the line tool and select the polygon tool. And come over to the polygon properties and set the sides to three. Select constrain and place a triangle onto the canvas like so. About that size. Not too, not too big, not too small. And we're going to select all three shapes and activate the path builder tool. We're going to cut out the left side of this shape right here and then the right side of the same shape and select the selection tool then double tap on the polygon tool and select the circle tool select constrain we're going to place a perfect circle to use as the head about that size select it then select the path builder tool and cut out the top half then you're going to select the circle again select constraint then we're going to lay down some circles for the ladybugs back area whatever you call these things I don't know and you want to put some have some overlapping the edges and we're going to use the path builder tool to cut those out so select one path builder tool cut it out select another path builder tool cut it out select another path builder tool cut it out and another Now for the antenna, select the draw tool, open the draw tool properties, set the stroke width to 4, and draw an antenna on one side, another antenna on the other side, select the circle tool, select constrain, down a little circle, place it at the top of the antenna, open up the fill color, and raise the alpha channel all the way up, and make sure it's black, and duplicate it, and move the duplicated one to the other antenna, and now for the color. Select multiple select, select both shells, and then color it red. And select the head of the ladybug, color it 
black. And select the spots. Well, those black as well. Then highlight everything. Go to stroke. Raise the stroke width up a little bit. So I wanted to keep this one simple for those who might be new to vector design or those who might be new to vector ink and show you how to use vector inks tools to draw anything. So there you have it. I hope you liked this video. Hit that like and subscribe. Tell your friends about this software and I will see you in the next video.